Russia already takes up one-eighth of all the inhabited land on the planet. And now, it has its eyes on one of its European neighbors, Ukraine. Historically, Ukraine and Russia have been in conflicts before. Most recently, Russia annexed the Ukrainian peninsula Crimea. And then, it backed a separatist rebellion in eastern Ukraine. Now, Russia doesn't want Ukraine cozying up to NATO. It wants NATO out of Eastern Europe, period. And even though Russia isn't a member of NATO to make decisions on such things, with one of the most powerful militaries in the world, Russia might feel like it can play by its own rules. Okay, let's back up a little. First, you might be wondering what NATO is. Well, NATO is the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. And right now, it includes 30 members. The United States, Canada, Netherlands, and the United Kingdom are among them. NATO's goal is to keep the peace and make sure no member of this alliance gets invaded by an international military force. You know, like that time Russia took Crimea from Ukraine. Now, Ukraine is not yet a member of NATO, but it has shown interest in joining it. And that doesn't sit well with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Putin is already a little freaked out that NATO is training Ukrainian troops and some members are supplying its army with weapons. So he's decided to go about it with the good old method of persuasion. He's threatening to start a war. Now, with a defense budget of $42 billion, Russia puts a lot of love and money into its military. Russia's army counts 3.5 million recruits. And it has tanks, 13,000 of them. No other country in the world has this many. Russia also has 27,000 armored vehicles and ranks first in the world with its 4,465 artillery guns. And then there's also Russia's nukes to worry about. All 6,257 of them. These can be launched from aircraft, subs, or missiles. But if Russia decided to attack, chances are it wouldn't start on land. No, the first strike would likely come from the air, 